today we are going to see another topic from informatica that is lookup transformation active so far we have seen connected lookup transformation and unconnected lookup transformation both the transformations are passive one first you have to know difference between the active and passive transformation when the number of records is changed between the transformation that means the number of records coming into the lookup transformation and going out if it is changed that means uh, the number is the number of records has got changed I mean then it becomes the active transformation today we are going to see the lookup transformation active lookup transformation how we are going to create that we will see now here I am going to use the a department table as the source and employee table EMP as the lookup table and the target is the flat file okay and I assume that you already know how to create the source and target and how to create the flat file target uh, it is very easy actually you can go over here and click this target and here is the create use this and use this flat file and you can give the name target name so that that flat file will be created and you can give the column names okay I will show you how to create the active lookup transformation now I will delete it now then I will show you here you have to click this icon lookup transformation and make sure that after selecting the source EMP is the lookup source and this should be checked if you want to return all values on multiple match ok that means for example if you are in the if the transformation lookup transformation is passive means we are just passing the department number and we will be getting the uh, department name or we will be passing the employee number and we will be getting the employee name but here we want to get the entire records that means employee records who are working in that particular department that means we are passing the department number and we are getting the employee names so it returns the multiple values make sure that getting checked this one click this and click ok then it will be created like this and and you have to drag these two things over here ok and just rename it so naming convention you already know as we are creating the active uh, lookup this time giving active and here uh, everything has got click for lookup so we are uh, just passing the department name and we are going to get the entire employee records okay. here the lookup condition is department number is equal to department number one okay. and then what we are going to get is department number D name and E name this is enough actually if you want to have all the records you can pull out all the employee number job etc and this is the flat file so in the session task we have to set the session properties for this flat file okay. now we are going to create the workflow for this workflow I have already created that is very easy to create by clicking this create you can create it and in the session task if it is the flat file 
have to set the path actually here you have to set the path have I have given a C target that means I have got one directory called target then but my file is going to get created in that path file name is tgt underscore emb underscore dapd dot text and make sure that for source that uh, connection object should be given because we are using department as the source table and lookup table is employee emp so lookup table name is emp and the connection object we have given and here is lookup policy on multiple matches use all values that means it is going to return all values for one department number it will return all the employee names okay now we are going to run the workflow monitor it succeeded then you have to go and check in the directory that is C target. It has got generated. The time is now 7 1 pm. 7 1. Okay. okay. Here it got generated. And two employees are having null e name. So that is not captured. That means it has got captured, but the name is null. Um, and operation department, it has no employees. So the department name only has came over here and there is no employees so the target generated is correct so this is the way you have to handle the active lookup transformation thanks